All birds of song have their own savoir faire. Now that the frost is gone, I know. Hey YouTube, it's Justin, aka Demonic Sweaters, here with a uh, little drum notation tutorial. And uh, the reason why I wanted to make this is because. Uh, from what I've noticed uh, personally is a lot of musical notation programs tend to treat drums kind of as an afterthought and it's not that easy to figure out how to do drum notation in uh, your typical drum no or your typical musical notation software rather and what I'm using here and up on the screen is a great program called MuseScore. Now, MuseScore is uh, really an awesome program, and it's 100% free. It works on Linux as well as Windows and Mac. has a very extensive uh, tutorial section on its website. Uh, the manual is really good. A huge, absolutely huge user community. Downloadable scores, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It's just really, really awesome. So I can't recommend it enough. And it is uh, probably one of the uh, better programs to write drum notation with. And I'm going to show you how you can do this and how you can get uh, a few different uh, types of drum notation uh, written in MuseScore. Now, what you'll see written up on the screen right here is just a very basic rock beat that I made. And let me just play back a little bit of this. Oops. Okay, and so as you can tell um, just by looking at this, all of the notes are coming down from the top, all the stems are pointing upward, and everything is connected, as in the hi-hat, snare, and bass drum are all connected within the same groupings of notes. Now the other way, the other really common way to write drum music looks like this. Now this is the same beat, it's just written with the hi-hat and snare in one grouping, and then the bass drums in another grouping. And this is a way to uh, kind of differentiate uh, hands and feet. So let's play this back, and you hear it sounds exactly the same. So two different ways to write the exact same thing. We have this, and we have this. Now, a lot of times, most commonly these days, people will write uh, this way, uh, just because it is easier to look at, and it's easier to read, quite honestly, than something like this, where you have rests. Uh, well... I don't know if it's easier to read. I mean, I think these two, because they're both a pretty simple beat, are probably about the same. But if you get into more complex stuff like this, then sometimes uh, this beat would be easier to read uh, with this type of notation. And a lot of times, my students, uh, when I'm handwriting out stuff, I'll do it this this way, and they tend to be able to read this a little bit better because it's more like a grid, uh, basically, than having them separated. But you could do it either way. So Whichever way you want to do it, uh, MuseScore could do both of them, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So first off, let's just go ahead and start by creating a new score, and we'll just title this one Drum 4. And then when it gets to the next screen, we're going to go to Choose Instruments, and then select the percussion, Unpitched, and then Drum Set, double-click it, go to Next again. You can change your tempo if you want right here by checking this box and selecting. I'm just going to leave it at default. And then we can change our time signature right here. And our number of measures down at the bottom. I'm just going to leave this at four for now. So let's go to finish. Okay, now we have our uh, basic uh, empty uh, drum section here that we can work with. And so to get started, let's go ahead and press the N key on the keyboard, letter N. And that turns it in, or that puts it into uh, uh, note enter mode. And so this is where uh, you might want to change a couple of things depending on which way you want to enter the drum. So if you're going to enter something like this, uh, let's go ahead and start with this one. So if we're going to uh, create a pattern like this with all of the stems going up and all of them connected, uh, let's let me go ahead and show you what you would need to change in order to make that work. So first off, let's press N again to get into uh, note enter mode and then we'll go to edit drum set right here and let's find all the drums we're going to be using so bass drum one we're going to use that as our bass drum and if we look here where it says default voice now this is what will make it go either on the same uh, grouping of notes or on its own separate grouping of notes right here it's on default voice two so that'll put it on a separate grouping of notes let's change that to default voice one and then for stem direction, let's put that to up. 
and then we just click OK. Now everything else should be OK already, but let, let's go ahead and take a look at them anyway, just so you guys can get used to looking at this. Um, let's find our acoustic snare drum. That's the snare we're going to use. And we can see it's already on default voice one and stem direction is already up. So that's what we want. And then, oops, I, I shouldn't have closed it. And then hi-hat, which is right here. Closed hi-hat is what we're going to be working with, uh, letter G. And you'll want to do this on any thing that you're going to be including in this particular uh, grouping of notes. So let's use our uh, closed hi-hat. And then right here, we can see default voice is already on one and stem direction is up. Okay, so the way I like to do it usually is just enter in my hi-hat first. So we can select eighth notes here, can just click on it. And then if you look down here on the bottom, this is kind of our cheat sheet. We can see that the uh, letter G is the closed hi-hat sound. So we just, we selected eighth note and I'm just gonna start tapping G on the keyboard. Might as well just fill it up. Really, I could have done this one measure at a time and just copied and pasted it, but it doesn't matter. So, okay, so now we have our hi-hats there. Let's go back to the beginning. And now let's go ahead and enter in our bass drum and snare drum. So in order to have a bass drum on the same note as the hi-hat, what we're going to do is hold down the shift key and press the letter B on the keyboard. So there's our bass drum. And then let's move over. You see the X or which note is selected Oops, by it being highlighted blue. That tells you that it's selected. So I'm going to go ahead and go over to where our snare is going to be. Hold down shift again. Press the letter A for snare. Keep pushing over to I get to where I want to put the next bass drum. We'll do bass drums here. And then snare again. Okay, and that's pretty much all. And now let me go ahead and select this, copy it. I'm just going to paste it over here. Uh, if I select, sorry, if I select it and hold down Control and C, that'll copy it. And then V, Control V, Control V, Control V. And now we have the same thing that I did here. Really, really easy, and it's really fast. So the way to do this the other way is basically, uh, it's a little easier actually, because you have to do less uh, to get started. So all we're gonna do is we just go ahead and create new store, new score again. <clears throat> Excuse me, title this one drum five. Choose instruments, we do everything we did the last time. Drum set, leave it at four, four. Number of measures, we'll do four. Okay, and basically, uh, well, let's just make sure that the defaults came in. So let me go to edit drum set again and go down to bass drum and it's already on default voice two and stem direction down. So that's what we want for this example. So let's go ahead and do what we did the last time. We're going to enter in our hi-hats first. We'll select eighth notes here and then I'm going to go ahead and type in hi-hats. Okay, let's go back to the beginning and now we can put in our bass drum. So now it's a little bit different. We're going to select quarter note for the first bass drum hit, right there, and that gives us a quarter note rest afterwards. And now let's go over to the second part we're going to put in a bass drum, and let's change this to eighth notes. Bass drum, bass drum, and then it puts in the appropriate rest there. And as you can see, that is very easy as well. Now let's go ahead and put in our snares, so we can change, well it's already on eighth note, and that's okay, so let's go ahead and go on the note where we want the snare to be. We hold down shift and press the shortcut for snare again, which is A. And then do it again where we want our other snare. Okay, press N to get out of node entry mode. Select all, or select select this uh, measure rather. Control C for copy, Control V paste, Control V paste, Control V paste. And now we have four measures of that B that we wrote down uh, before. And that's how you do it. It is really, really simple. Um, and it's really fast once you get the hang of it. Uh, you can go through and you can edit things. Um, the other thing you may run into is if these are a little bit wonky, like if you start off um, if you start off in the wrong mode, you can actually switch all of these just by going to by highlighting them and then going over here to beam 
you can do direction auto, you can do force horizontal. And what that will do is if this is coming up at a slant, the beam, you can use this force horizontal and that'll take the slant off of it. Uh, what else? Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much all. Oh, you could do uh, direction. Where is that? That's Oh, if we click on the node itself, we can do uh, right here, stem direction up or down. We can switch that if we wanted to, and that would make that stem go the opposite direction. And uh, so you can, you know, you get the idea. There's a lot of stuff you can do in MuseScore, and you can customize it to look however you like. Um, like I said, I prefer this method or this look for drum notation, and I know my students prefer it as well. But some uh, more uh, classical, or not classical, but more um, old school scores will be written this way uh, with the bass drum on a separate voice and with the rests down there on the bass drum. But either way, they're both fine. However you want to do it, it's up to you. So uh, both are accepted uh, by today's uh, drummers or most drummers today. So anyway, hopefully you guys found this uh, tutorial educational and helpful. If you did, you can click the thumbs up and you can subscribe uh, for more videos like this. And be sure to hit that bell icon too, like all other YouTubes, YouTubers tell you to do. That notifies you when I upload a new video. And I have a lot of content, not just tutorials. I have a lot of stuff. Uh, you can check out my other videos now if you want. A lot of drumming videos, lessons, a lot of music, general music videos, live shows, tutorials, recording tutorials, product reviews, all kinds of stuff on here. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I hope you all have a wonderful week. Happy Monday. As your reflection fades, you make me stop and stare. And once I've caught my breath, I feel you everywhere. Smiles. We've seen a billion stars